Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Um, yes, it's time for another daily roundup. A bit late this evening. I got carried away today. Um, but yes, um, I hope you've all enjoyed the long weekend. For some of you who are working from home, it all starts back tomorrow. And for those of you who are not working or who may have been furloughed, um, but it didn't, it wasn't too stressful. Hopefully that the weather was nice. There wasn't too much limitations. Although in Turkey, 24,000, over 24,000 people got um, penalties for breaching the curfew over the Easter weekend. I don't know what the penalty is, but, you know, businesses and shops that were meant to be closed, they were open. So that wasn't very good. I'm not quite sure what the um, arrest rate or penalty was in the UK. <clears throat> we do know that the figures have jumped up to about 11,000 now deaths in the UK, which isn't very comforting. Um, none of them say they're actually dying of coronavirus. They all seem to be linked to coronavirus. I'm not quite sure what that means. I'm not quite sure if when they say it's linked, uh, you know, I don't really get that. Either you're dying from coronavirus or you're not. So I don't understand that. But anyway, it's jumped up to 11,000 in the UK, which isn't very pleasant to hear. And especially for those who have lost people, you know, for people who have lost people. And can you imagine at this particular time, if you lose someone, you don't, haven't even got anybody to give you a little hug if you live in the house by yourself. Like this woman was saying she lost her husband. And there was nobody around to give her a hug because they couldn't come into the house because he had died of the coronavirus. So they needed to isolate. So can you imagine how isolating and depressing that must be? Anyway, on a lighter note, I don't know how many of you watched the Jamaican COVID-19 telethon. Well, it was for six hours. And in the UK, it started at nine, although in, in Jamaica, it started at three for, for people like me, I was dozing in and out of it. So I missed a few acts. But for what I saw every time I woke up, it was pretty good. It was kind of a spiritual kind of vibe, although Capleton and Ding Dong did kind of jazz it up a little bit. So that was good. But yeah, it was really enjoyable. They're hoping to um, raise 10 million US dollars. And when I was listening, I mean, they had people donating 10,000 US dollars um, from 2,000 US dollars to 10,000 US dollars. So I don't know how much they made at the end of the six hours, but this is a four week stretch. So I'm not, not sure if any of you um, who saw it or who wants to donate, the money is being raised for their health workers, for um, personal um PPE, personal protective equipment. So um, that is why they're raising this money. So the numbers, if you're interested to donate anything, nothing is too small, every mickle, make a muckle, so it all builds up. If you're in Jamaica, you probably know it's 876-619-5638. If you're in America or Canada, it's 1-866-228-833. Eight three nine three, and from the UK it's plus four four eight zero eight one eight nine six one four seven, or you can donate online via www.jatogetherwestand.com. So it was cheerful, uplifting, and um, yeah, I don't know if any of you want to know the names of the artist, but would you believe, I've only gone and left it upstairs, haven't I, isn't that typical, did I leave it upstairs, I didn't leave it upstairs, okay, I just wanted to give you, of course, like I said, if I've missed off anybody, I'm sorry, but like I said, I was in and out of sleep, and every now and then I'd wake up and have a look, but the people who I saw was George Knox, um, Freddie McGregor, Wayne Marshall, Rondell Positive, um, Minister Tufton gave a little speech and so did Andrew Holness and 
Cindy Shakespeare, but Candy Isaacs performed, Maxi Priest, Ron Cross and Panic, Kevin Downswell, he was brilliant. Alkaline, he seemed to have got his colour back. He had bleached his face at one point and he looks back to normal now, which is brilliant. But he was there talking. Um, Garnet Silk Jr., Ding Dong was brilliant. Capleton was brilliant. Ash was good. Um, Damien Gomali, Orville and Dance Expressions, they were really good. And they actually danced to Ding Dong's track get inside or stay inside we had Ras I Rosa Rose Jermaine Edwards I love Jermaine Edwards another gospel reggae singer Chronic Law we had um, who else Ryan Davis Julian Marley Omi Shaggy Manifa Skip Marley Lubert Leafy and yet, like I said, there was a lot of them because it was going on for six hours and that would have taken you to three o'clock in the morning. So I really couldn't watch it all. But from what I did see, it was spirit filled. It was energetic. And I just thought, what a brilliant way, you know, with all the conscious feeling kind of depressed and down because of this coronavirus, Jamaica comes up with this massive concert that everybody can watch from their TV screens. What a brilliant idea. And raise money as well. And they must have done it at such short notice, but the production was amazing. High quality production. And I was really, really proud because I thought, okay, I'm born in the UK. My parents are Jamaican, but it just showed me the resilience and the creativity and how everybody was willing to pull together. And people are paying and putting in money um, to raise you know, money for their health workers. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So, yes, yeah, so that was that. Nice little piece of good news. Um, and it kind of, you know, took the weight off of those people who are feeling down, who are feeling depressed. And some people, they don't, they don't really know the signs of depression. It can be very, very subtle. It's almost like you start feeling, um, start having a low mood and then you can't be bothered to get dressed. You can't be bothered to wash. I mean, it might sound nasty, but some people, they can't be bothered to wash or they just do one quick thing. They can't be bothered to look after themselves. You know, normally they might comb their hair or you know, do whatever they need to do, but they can't be bothered. They can't be bothered to change their clothes. They'll just stand their dressing gown or or their um, pyjamas all day. And that's okay for one day or two days. But when you start seeing it getting into the weeks, you know, into a week even, you know, you know that you're heading on a downward spiral. You know that you're heading towards depression because depression can sneak up on you. It's not something where all of a sudden you're bawling and you're crying and you don't like this and you're fed up with this and you're, you know, you just go into a little shell and you have your head in your knees. That's not necessarily depression in its early stages. In its early stages, it's very subtle. And it starts by you feeling demotivated. I just can't be bothered. What's the point? What's the use? I'm not going anywhere. So why should I make an effort? Why should I make myself look good? Why should I make myself look smell nice? And some husbands and wives have been complaining because their partners haven't been bothering. You know, they're in the house, lounging around, stinking up the place. And, you know, it's not a very attractive. It's not very attractive. It's not a good look. Now is the time you should be looking attractive. Now is the time you've got time to make yourself um, look attractive. You might not have had time before. Now you have time. So just try, you know, if you're feeling a bit down, just try and make an effort. Because even if you make an effort and you look good, even if nobody ain't going to see you, you can see yourself and you can say, hmm, yeah, you still look good. I still look nice. I still look sweet. I still look pretty. I still look handsome. Whatever. You know what I mean? But if you let yourself go, 
and on top of that you're not feeling motivated you've got nothing to bring you up so on the other spectrum way on the other spectrum people can get so depressed they actually either think about committing suicide or they do um i was speaking to a colleague um last a couple of weeks ago and she said a friend of her husband's just jumped off of a bridge right into a train i'm just like to think about that just to think about doing that how low must you feel oh sends shivers up my spine there are places like mind .org.uk you can talk to people and samaritans if you are um if you are where is it gone i bet you haven't even got it here if i haven't got it here i'm not going to say it but they have this website i mean if you put in depression um in the search bar it has something called guided something or other i don't know what i've done with it now but it actually, if you don't want to talk to somebody and you just want to go through something yourself, it actually helps you to, um, it's almost like you're talking to a counsellor then. It's all free, but you can just talk about how you're feeling. It's anonymous. You know, you cannot, well, you can choose to be anonymous or you can choose to be confidential. If you choose to be confidential, they'll delete it. If you just choose to be anonymous, they can keep your, um, whatever you've said without your name or anything for them to help other people but yeah i thought it was useful for people who don't mind writing about their feelings but a lot of people want somebody to talk to so um how do you know if you're depressed or just under the weather well depression doesn't shift it just gets longer and longer whereas if you're under the weather you might feel down for about a day or so and then you you think oh yeah you know i've got to get out of this yeah i've got to do this i've got to do that and then you know you're not depressed. But, you know, we're all, during this stage, we'll all start feeling a bit under the weather because things are out of our control. Um, it doesn't help to be locked down with angry teenagers or restless children or agitated spouses. Or even alone, people who enjoyed their own company may find forced isolation difficult. So even those people who say, oh, I love living on my own. Yeah, I love my own company and... You know, I mean, no one, nobody, and you know all of that. <clears throat> when it's forced on you, it's a totally different ball game. You might not like it as much, and that can make you feel under the weather as well. So you just have to watch your emotions, watch your feelings, make sure you're not going under. Monitor it, and monitor it carefully and regularly. Um, Labour shadow cabinet minister suggested that the government publish their exit strategy for ending the lockdown in the coming weeks. The Wales health minister said last week that a lockdown would remain for several weeks, and I would imagine the same for us. But what the Labour shadow cabinet minister was saying, although I'm not quite sure how many people will listen to her, was that uh, if they roll out mass testing, shielding the most vulnerable while others get back to normal life and then reintroduce a lockdown if the virus spreads, you know, that is what she was suggesting. And like she said, not now, maybe in two or three weeks time, you know, so at least people know where they are. But I think too much expense has gone into preparing for the lockdown. So they're going to they're going to milk it for all it's worth, to be honest. They've got to get their money's worth out of it. Um, so ministers seem to be forced to, forced to, what's the way of her responsibility between fighting? Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of weighing up their responsibility between um, protecting the economy and fighting the disease, which... Doesn't seem like a win-win to me. Seems like a no-win. And that is all for now. I just hope you all have a safe and blessed week. We'll have more news, no doubt, on the TV. I didn't really watch the TV today, so I just wasn't into listening to the regular deaths and, you know, this and that. I just wasn't up for it. I was looking for something more entertaining. So what I've done... I've ordered the Truman Show because I fancied watching that. 
Would you believe it's 1999? Well, anyway, I thought I'm not going to pay 1999 for the Truman Show. Look how long it's been out. So I went on eBay, and eBay there I could get the collector's edition for 9.89 plus one pound 39 shipping. So I thought that's a better deal, and it's a collector's item. So yeah, I just felt like watching something entertaining, and because the Truman Show is I don't know. I think I think I've missed a lot of things in the Truman Show when I watched it before. I think when you watch something, um, when you're asleep, kind of thing, when you're not really aware, it's to it's a totally different experience when you watch it again and you are more aware and you look for more different things because they say there's underlying messages in the Truman Show that I think I probably missed. Well, I know I missed them, so I just wanted to watch that movie again. So that's what I've ordered. I'm looking forward to watching that one evening this week. And yeah, and that's all I've got to say to you guys. Like I said, have a blessed week. Keep safe and love the one you're with. Bye-bye.